ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ टेंथ ऑफ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन बिकम एज मर्सीफुल एज दी फादर मर्सीफुल चिल्ड्रेन लिबरेट एवरी वन फ्रॉम सॉरो एंड डू दी सर्विस ऑफ मेकिंग इम्प्योर वन प्योर क्वेश्चन वट डज दी होल वर्ल्ड वॉन्ट something that no one but the father can fulfill answer the whole world wants to receive peace and happiness the father comes on hearing the call of all the children baba is unlimited and this is why he has a lot of concern about how the children can become happy from unhappy baba said children the whole world is mine All are my children, and I have come to liberate everyone from their sorrow. I am the master of the whole world. I have to make it pure from impure. Om Shanti, the Father is purifying you, children. Therefore, there definitely has to be love for the Father. Even though there is love between brothers, which is fine. all the children of the one father are brothers however it is only the one father who purifies everyone this is why all the children's love is connected to the one father the father said children constantly remember me alone it is fine that you are brothers and so you would certainly be like milk and sugar you are children of the one father it is souls that have so much love since you are to receive a deity status there has to be a lot of love among you we has to be a lot of sorry we we are becoming brothers we are claiming our inheritance from the father the father comes and teaches us those who are to understand will understand that this is a school or a big university The father gives everyone drishti, that is, he remembers everyone. All human beings, all the souls of the whole world, remember the unlimited father. The whole world, old and new, belongs to the father. The new world belongs to the father. So, within the old world, belong to him. It is the father who purifies everyone. Even the old world is mine. I am the master of the whole world. Although I don't rule the new world, it is still mine. My children remain happy, remain very happy in that unlimited home, and then they also receive sorrow. This is a play. This whole unlimited world is my home. It is a big stage. The father knows that there are children of his in the old whole home. He looks at the whole world. all are living all of the children are unhappy at this time and this is why they call out baba the tower of peace take us away from this dirty and unhappy world to a world of peace you call out to the father you cannot say anything to the de- to the deities that one is the father of all he has concern for the whole world this is an unlimited home The father knows that at this time all are unhappy in this unlimited home, and that this is why they call out to the bestower of peace and the bestower of happiness. People ask for two things. You now know that you are claiming your inheritance of happiness from the unlimited father. The father has come and is giving us happiness and also peace. No one else will give us peace and happiness. the father alone has that mercy he is the unlimited father you understand that we children of baba were very happy when we were pure by becoming impure we have now become unhappy by sitting on the pyre of lust souls have become ugly and impure the main thing is that you forget the father who gave you such a high status People say you are the mother and you are the father, and we had plenty of happiness. 
you are now receiving that because there is a, there is now a lot of sorrow this world is tamo pradhan people continue to choke in the ocean of poison they don't understand anything you have now received understanding you understand that this is the extreme depths of hell the father asked the children at present are you residents of hell or residents of heaven when someone dies they immediately say that he has become a resident of heaven that is he has gone beyond all sorrow so why do they feel him the things of hell they don't understand this the father comes and establishes heaven he teaches you children raj yoga the father says sweet children i give you this knowledge i alone have this knowledge i am the ocean of knowledge people say that so and so is an authority of the scriptures but they don't understand that they are still souls they don't know about the father at all people say of the father who makes you into the masters of the world that he is in the pebbles and the stones look what god vyas has written people don't know anything at all they have become complete orphans and continue for fight and quarrel among themselves no one knows the father the creator or the beginning middle and end of creation the father gives his own introduction and also explains to you the secrets of the beginning middle and end no one else can tell you these things ask anyone do you know the one who is called ishwar god and the creator is it known god to say that he is in the pebbles and stones first of all understand yourselves when human beings are tamo pradhan animals etc are all tamo pradhan to when human beings are sat pradhan all are happy as a human being so their furniture the furniture of worldly people is good you become very happy masters of the world and so whatever you have there gives happiness there is nothing there that causes sorrow this hell is a dirty world the father too comes and explains to you that god is only one he alone is the purifier he establishes heaven people sing praise of the deities you are full of all virtues they go to a temple and sing the praise of the deities and defend themselves because they are all corrupt it is lakshmi and narayan whom everyone worships who are elevated and residents of heaven even sannyasis worship them it is not like that in the golden age your renunciation is unlimited the unlimited father comes and inspires you to have unlimited renunciation that is hatha yoga limited renunciation that religion is separate the father says you have forgotten your religion and pushed yourselves into so many other religions you have named your bharat hindustan and then called it the hindu religion in fact no one established the hindu religion there are four main religions deity islam buddhism and christian you know that this whole world is in iceland and that there is the kingdom of ravan over it have you seen ravan the one whose effigy is repeatedly burnt in the oldest is the oldest enemy people don't even understand why they burn him there has to be the understanding who he is and from what time they have been burning him they think that they they think that that has been happening since the beginning of time oh but there still has to be an account no one knows you you are the children of brahma if anyone asks you who children you are say we are brahma kumars and kumaris and so we are definitely his children who child is brahma sir baba we are his grandchildren all souls are his children 
Then in terms of bodies, we first become Brahmins. There is Pija Pita Brahma. You know how so many people are created. This is by adoption. Say so Baba adopts you through Brahma. There is also a Mela. In fact, the Mela should take place where the Brahmaputra, the big river, merges into the ocean. The Mela should take place at the confluence. This Mela is here. Brahma is sitting here. You know that he is the father and also the senior mama. But because he is male, mama has been appointed to look after the mothers. The father says, I grant you salvation. You know that those deities are doubly nonviolent because Ravan doesn't exist there. There is the night through devotion and the day through this knowledge. Only the one father is the ocean of knowledge. People say that he is only present. The father himself comes and explains. He only explains to his children. There are the virgins of God Shiva. People celebrate the birthday of Shiva and so he definitely enters someone. He says, I have to take the support of matter. I don't take the support of a young child. Shri Krishna is a young child. I enter this one in the last of his many births and as well as that when he is in his stage of retirement. It is only in their stage of retirement that people remember God. However, no one knows God accurately. This is why the father says, whenever there is extreme religiousness, I come in Bharat alone. The praise of Bharat is limitless. Look how much arrogance of their bodies people have. I am so and so. I am this. The father comes and makes you soul conscious. The spiritual father sits here and tells you sweetest spiritual children all the secrets of this knowledge. This is an old world whereas the golden age is a new world. There was just the original eternal ancient deity religion in the golden age. It is a matter of 5,000 years. Vyasa has written in the scriptures that the duration of each cycle is hundreds of thousands of years. In fact, the cycle is only 5,000 years. People are completely ignorant. They are asleep in the sleep of Kumbhakarna. New people who hear these things would not be able to understand them. This shows why the father says, I only speak to my children. You are the ones who started devotion. You have slept yourselves. The father made you worthy of worship and you then became worshippers. This is also a play. Some people are soft hearted and even start to cry while watching a play. The father says, those who cry lose out. There is no question of crying in the golden age. Here too, the father says, you mustn't cry. It is in the copper and iron ages that people cry. Golden is it, people never cry. At the end, no one will have any time to cry. They will continue to die suddenly. They will not be able to cry out in distress. O oh Rama, destruction will take place in such a way that there won't be the slightest suffering because none of the hospitals will even remain. This is why they make such things. The father explains to you, I take the army of you monkeys in order to conquer Ravan. The father is now showing you the way to conquer Ravan. All the Sitas have to be liberated from the chains of Ravan. All of these matters have to be understood. God speaks. The father says to his children alone, Hear no evil. Close your ears to the things that don't benefit you at all. You have now received Srimad. You are the ones who will become elevated. Here they have given everyone the title Sri Sri. Acha, the father still says, Consider yourselves to be souls. And remember the father. This unlimited play of victory and defeat that the father explains to you is so wonderful. Acha, to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children, 
love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 become as merciful as the father liberate everyone from sorrow and do the service of making impure ones pure in order to become pure have a lot of love for the one father second the father says those who cry lose out this is why you must not cry in any situation blessing may you be a master of stubborn who makes your companions loving and cooperative by having sovereignty over yourself a king means a bestower a bestower does not need to say anything or ask for anything he himself offers each of his companions the gift of his love when you to become the kings who rule over yourselves they will all then offer you the gift of their cooperation Lockic and allocic companions say to those who rule over themselves, "Present, my lord. Yes, my lord, and Haji, and become loving and cooperative. You should never give orders to the family. Just keep your physical senses in order, and all your companions will then will then become loving and cooperative." Slogan: While having all facilities for attainment and when your attitude remains beyond you will be said to have an attitude of disinterest slogan while having all facilities for attainment and when your attitude remains beyond you will be said to have an attitude of disinterest om shanti